Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Moira Stewart, and we're here for the uh, Masters of Clinical Science uh, public lecture of uh, Dr. Tessu Kusaba, who is uh, in the Department of Family Medicine. Um, the layout here today, Dr. Kusaba, is that you have an audience of interested people from the Department of Family Medicine and elsewhere, mm -hmm. and uh, examiners are here in the audience. And there's an examiner uh, on the screen, Dr. Kath Stringer, from Memorial Newfoundland, who is the chair of Department of Family Medicine there, and also is a graduate of this master's degree program. Um, so it's my great pleasure to introduce to you uh, the candidate for today, Dr. Tessu Kasaba. So Dr. Kasaba has a, a, an MD degree from Kyoto University in Japan. And then he, uh, well, that's in the central part of Japan. And then he moved to the North Island, Hokkaido, to become a resident in the early residency programs uh, there. And uh, he was there for four years to uh, complete his residency program in Hokkaido. Uh, then he became a staff doctor at the Hokkaido Clinic, which is an academic uh, clinic and a residency program that's distributed around, around it. And in 2006 became the director of that program and has been developing this academic program uh, all those years. And then last year and the year before, 2018 and 2019, have been big years for Dr. Kasaba because uh, in 2018 he was elected to be a member at large of the Executive Council of the Asia Pacific Wonka, which is the World Organization of Family Medicine Associations. And then in 2019 he was elected to be president of the Japan Primary Care Association, which is equivalent of the College of Family Physicians of Canada. And so we're going to be very interested in hearing uh, Dr. Kusaba's work with Japanese patients um, and, their, uh, and their interest in patient-centered medicine. Dr. Kusaba. Thank you. You're welcome. OK. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, I am Tessu Kusaba, uh, introduced by Dr. Moira Stewart, thank you so much. A uh, good introduction. Uh, I'm a family doctor uh, working in Japan and also a, a graduate student, for a long time graduate <laughs> student, uh, University uh, Western Ontario Family Medicine Department. Uh, it is great pleasure and honor uh, for me to introduce my thesis uh, to you uh, as a public lecture. Uh, and please listen to my, uh, uh, my uh, defense, my thesis result and uh, give my give question uh, after that, okay? Yeah. And my uh, research title is uh, Japanese Patient Preference for Patient-Centered Medicine and its Association uh, with uh, the Satisfaction of Patients with their Family Physicians in Japan. I have no relationship with commercial interest to disclose. And uh, at first, I really appreciate uh, many people uh, for my thesis, uh, especially uh, Dr. Moira Stewart as a supervisor and uh, Dr. Judith Bell Brown as a program director. Thank you so much. And the introduction. Uh, Patient-centered medicine, uh, I, I comment. The concept of patient-centered was de de derived from Dr. Ian McQueenie's work of elucidating real reason in patient presentation, and this concept led to the work of exploring the patient physician relationship and describing the model of practice by the members of the Department of Family Medicine of Western University. Now, the academic organizations in many countries, uh, including Japan, adopted this concept uh, not only for daily practice, but also for medical education. Based on the literature search, uh, patient-centered medicine was associated with better clinical outcomes and higher satisfaction. 
about patient satisfaction. Based on the literature search, patient satisfaction was improved by better communication style and longer consultation lengths. And the patient satisfaction was related to accessibility, patient empowerment, practice style, and patient centeredness. About patient centered medicine in non Western countries or cultures like Japan, the post-EO papers uh, about patient centered medicine in such countries and cultures uh, show the gaps uh, in the literature in this theme. And influence and insight about Japanese society. Family medicine and primary care has not been recognized as a as the independent medical area in Japan for a long, long time. But patient-centered medicine as a core component of family medicine is sometimes misunderstood as a patient consumerism or doctor's attitudes. There are few papers advocating patient-centered medicine in Japan. So my research question uh, suggested by literature such is, is two. Uh, one is what component of patient-centered medicine do the Japanese patient prefer? And what characteristics of patients have association with it? And second, what component of patient preference for patient-centered medicine are associated with the satisfaction of patient? That big research question for me. And this is study number one, uh, Japanese patients' preference for patient-centered medicine. The objective of this study is to identify patients' preferences for patient-centered consultation in Japanese general practice, and to show which components of patient-centered medicine are preferred by Japanese patients. And the method. Design is cross-sectional study and setting uh, six local private primary care clinics, giving ambulatory care by board certified family doctors in Hokkaido province of Japan. And research question, I repeated, repeated is there an association between patient reference for patient-centered care and the patient characteristics after controlling for core variables. And I selected patient characteristics you can see on the slide. <coughs> and the outcome, uh, I, uh, I uh, created questionnaire. The questionnaire on patient preference for patient centeredness was based on little questionnaire contained in a paper entitled What Patients Want from the Practitioner. Th that's a des descriptive data and a factor analysis. And the questionnaire includes 16 items which belong to three factors. Factor one is communication, factor two is partnership, and factor three is health promotion. Factor scores were the mean of the items included in each factor using five-point Ricard scale from very strong agree and to disagree, five, po five Ricard point scale. And also the questionnaire includes other four items about practical medicine. That means examination, prescription, laboratory test, and x-rays. The latter two items are added based on my experience in Japanese medicine. That's different from Rito's questionnaire. And the questionnaire items uh, you can see on the slide. And about method continue. Uh, patients were Japanese, uh, 20, to 20 to 85 years old, no dementia, no pregnant, without disability, and without an urgent problem. 
and data collection was consecutive sampling. And pilot study was done, and based on this result, we revised questionnaire and calculated sample size. And this is analysis. The analysis is shown on this slide and it included by variate analysis and multivariate analysis for continuous outcome variables. The chi-square square test and the multivariate logistic regression test for dichotomous outcome variables. And this is the result. About 400 patients were recruited and 341 patients answered the questionnaire. Finally, 262 patients were selected after excluding 79 patients due to lack of data. And uh, the sample patient characteristics you can see on the slide. And next, main result. About communication, around 19% of patients preferred. About partnership, around 80% patients preferred. The last, a health promotion, around 90% of patients preferred. Very high, date, high uh, number. The association between patients' characteristics and the mean of each of the three components of preference whole patient-centered medicine. First, people who preferred communication were more worried. And second, people who preferred partnership were more worried and more unwell. And finally, people who preferred health promotion were more worried and having more acute illness. And uh, about practical medicine for components, um, all examination prescription, laboratory test, and x-ray, uh, around 70% of patients preferred those four items. The association between practical medicine items and the patient characteristics, patients who preferred examination showed no association. Patients who preferred prescription had more likely to have travel time less than 14 minutes. Patients preferred laboratory tests more likely to be over 65 years of age. Patients who preferred x-ray more likely to be male and more likely to be over 65 years of age. And discussion part. Compared with UK, patient-centered medicine was similarly preferred by patients in Japan. The percentage is quite high in Japan and UK. And more vulnerable the patients, higher age, more anxiety, and feeling more ill, express a greater preference for patient-centered communication, partnership, and health promotion, which was also revealed in UK study. The preference for practical medicine in Japan was evident and higher than UK. The percentage is quite high. Patients in both Japan and UK preferred both patient-centered medicine and practical medicine. And this is a study number two. Uh, Japanese patient satisfaction with a consultation in Japanese family practice. The objective of this study is uh, assessing patient satisfaction or with a doctor's consul consultation and its association with the patient characteristics. About method, uh, mostly the same as the previous study, except for the research question. 
the outcome variable and the and the analysis. Research question we have two. Are the Japanese patients satisfied with the consultation in Japanese family practice? Is there an association between patient satisfaction and the patient characteristics? And the outcome, uh, we use questionnaire uh, uh, developed by uh, Dr. Takemura in Japan uh, that was selected to assess the level of patient satisfaction for use in this study. At the end of the visit, patients completed the questionnaire on patient satisfaction. And uh, the questionnaire includes 12 items which belong to five factors and ask the patient to indicate their satisfaction with their consultation on a five-point record scale for each item. Total satisfaction score is the sum of these items. And the analysis, we use the same analysis, uh, the t-test for bivariate analysis and uh, mixed model uh, for the multivariate analysis, the same. And results. The mean value of total satisfaction score was 46.1. We can see the distribution was very similar to the normal distribution. And women were more satisfied than men and patients consulted by directors were more satisfied. Patients having a short consultation time, less than five minutes, were more satisfied. So, about discussion, many patients were satisfied with the consultation provided by the sample of board certified family doctors in primary care clinics. Compared with Takemura's study, the mean score of four of five components were mostly similar. But that of whole person care looked higher in the present study. And uh, the next is uh, study number three. Uh, that's a Japanese patient's preference for patient-centered medicine and their satisfaction with the consultation in Japan, Japanese family practice. According to the results of the last two studies, patient-centered medicine was preferred in Japan as much as in UK and more vulnerable the patient expressed a greater preference for patient-centered medicine. And most of Japanese patients were satisfied with the consultation in Japanese family practice. So next, it is important to assess the association between patient's preference for patient-centered medicine and patient satisfaction. The objective of the study is to identify whether patients who preferred patient-centered medicine were more likely to be satisfied with this consultation of Japanese family practice. The method section is the same as the previous two studies, except for the research question and the analysis. So new research question is, are the patient's pre preference for the component of uh, patient-centered medicine, including three factors, associated with the satisfaction with practice? And about analysis, mostly the same uh, with previous two studies. And uh, this is the result. The groups of patients who are strongly satisfied with the consultation were more likely to prefer 
partnership of three uh, factors, but not communication and health promotion of patient-centered medicine. The strongly satisfied patients also had less than five minutes of consultation time. And discussion, the results of this study highlight the importance of partnership because it was the only factor where patient preference for patient-centered care that was correlated with patient satisfaction. The results of the current study can encourage educators to strengthen the learning partnership and uh, finding common ground. And this is the uh, final, final part uh, of my thesis, the general discussion and the integration of findings. Message relevant to the development of family medicine in Japan. Through the findings of this study, it may be said that even in non-Western countries whose culture and history are different from Western countries, patient-centered medicine seems to be accepted by patients. The fact that patient-centered medicine was found to be accepted by patients may encourage uh, Japanese healthcare leaders uh, to recognize the value of patient-centered family medicine and the importance of its development in Japan. The findings of patient satisfaction for the consultation provided by a sample of board certified family doctors might also support this direction, I think. And implication for clinical practice and medical education, it is important for family doctors to build strong partnership with patient, have good communication in daily practice, and sometimes provide health promotion, especially for vulnerable patients, such as the elderly, patients with anxiety, and patients feeling ill. They should pay great attention to building good partnership, because partnership is the only component which was closely associated with patient satisfaction. Due to Japanese patient satisfaction, after a relatively shorter consultation time, it might be better to make the consultation concise and concentrated if possible. And this is the last slide. In view of medical education, it is important to teach both patient-centered medicine and practical medicine from the beginning of learning in medical school to residency training to old family medicine board certification. This study reminds us that learners have to also pay attention to the content of medical consultation, such as partnership and finding common ground. That's all. Thank you so much for listening. <laughs> Thank yeah. you very mm -hmm. much. So now it's time for questions from the audience. Um, and uh, the examiners can refrain from questions because you'll have lots of time later. But anyone else who would like to ask Dr. Kasaba a question, now is the time. Yeah. Dr. Wetmore. Yeah. Thank you very much. Uh, I enjoyed your presentation mm -hmm. very much. Yeah. I was interested in your comments on uh, practical medicine mm. and the fact that about 70, I think around 70 percent of yeah. people preferred examination. Mm. Mm. So that uh, these days, mm. uh, I think patients uh, tend to get examined less than they mm. used to get examined mm. because of their technological advances yeah. and so yeah. on. Uh, could you comment on that? Do you, do you think there's a difference between patients in Japan and patients elsewhere with respect to their uh, admiration for physical examination? Uh, yeah, but uh, thank you so much. Uh, very good uh, question. Uh, about physical examination in Japan, most patients want to want us to do <laughs> every time. Uh, mostly once per month, a patient visited my clinic. And so every time I check 
hot sound <laughs> because patients want to look look their body. Maybe this is uh, something some some other meaning. Uh, I think the touching touching the patient and feel reassured about that. That's a, I think the, some type of culture in ja in Japan. So many patients want precise the examination even now. Yeah. Yes. Mm. shift with your finding versus I think in one of your first slides um, I think I saw that the culture is traditionally more of a you know the doctor is sort of the director yes, of yes, the yes. encounter mm. so yet you found this partnership so mm. would that would do you think that is a bit of a cultural shift that's happening or how would you explain Thank you so much. Uh, good question. Uh, I think uh, cultural shift was uh, going on. It's going on now because uh, maybe um, 20 years ago I studied medicine. Uh, most elderly patients do not want communication. <laughs> only only prescription and uh, check check uh, examination and finish. And so very short conversation. But now, uh, most of the elderly and of course in the middle-aged patients want communication more, one more. Maybe that's a, uh, that's a change of culture, medical culture, <laughs> and also the change of society. I think so. Patients want more uh, for the doctors now, I think. Yeah, that's, that's a, that's a reason. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think so. Yeah. Very interesting presentation. Yeah. Would, would you care to comment on the uh, your finding that satisfaction was greater when the consultation was shorter, which mm. is, is a bit of a surprise to me. Yeah, yeah, I think so. And that's uh, yeah. Thank you so much. Uh, very good point about my uh, result. Um, this is very surprising for me also. <laughs> Uh, so shorter time is uh, associated with satisfaction. But that, that means uh, in Japan, uh, patients visit my clinic once per month. Once per month. So, um, so many patients w I were there in the waiting room in Japan. And so time pressure is very big. Not only doctors, but also patients. So patients try to make shortcut. Yeah, but then uh, every month I can meet him, my, meet them, so I can get many information uh, for many consultations. So that's that maybe associate with maybe correlate with uh, longer consultation in Western countries, but uh, not so many, not so often visiting uh, doctors. Yeah. Any further questions? Yeah. Um, I have a so I think you'll agree that it's very, there are very interesting findings that are somewhat surprising uh, to what we had anticipated. Mm -hmm. uh, we, we, you know, we asked the question because we thought perhaps Japanese patients mm -hmm. would not be interested, mm -hmm. so interested. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. So um, uh, they, are, they are exciting results and I'm glad that you, uh, that you uh, asked questions about those aspects. So. Thank you very much to the audience for coming. You've been a great support to uh, myself and Dr. Cassava. And thank you, Dr. Cassava, yeah, for an so excellent much. presentation. Yeah, thank you so much. Yeah.